video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use the envelope distortion distort with type. Now, first thing to do, just go over here to, you can use most kinds of shapes. There's some shapes it will just reject. So, uh, so it's probably best to work with a basic shape. So I'm just going to quickly just use a rectangle. That's a very basic one. Now, you might, I find it, nice to actually add a few points before I actually go any further. So you've got a few points on this, but say you just go to Object, Path, and Add Anchor Point. Just add a few. Don't have to, of course. You can keep it very simple, but you can also add a few additional points. Now, once you've got that path, just put it over there, and then just go there, and then select both, and Object, and envelope distort and make with a project before to that envelope options. So I'll quickly show you that. There's a few options here you can set. So these ones fidelity, etc. How obviously good proximate it is. Distort appearance, also distort linear. Now in this case, probably don't need to actually have them set, but I've just got them set just by default. So click OK there and now object and envelope distort and make with top object. That'll take a few seconds to do. Now at this point, it doesn't look really like anything's actually happened at all. Obviously the the text was a rectangle basically, so uh, the actual, that's a rectangle as well. Now what you can do, just go over here to the direct selection tool, and you can just select there. And like I say, if you have hardly any points at all, you can actually, of course you can just have that one there, and that one there, and that one there. Perfectly reasonable, but I actually quite like to so distort the text in different places. So you can actually just say drag that in, and it's easier to do at point. So you can select that and drag that out. Maybe select that point as well, and then drag that in. And you can distort them literally in thousands of different ways. And you can pull those around and drag that up to actually make that sort of bulge upwards. Now, just gone a bit too far. You can actually over, right, now, drag that one down. And again, you've got, obviously got all these points to play with. You don't have to have all those points. You could just go with the basic thing. And now you could use circle, stars, many other shapes as well. You don't have to use just this sort of shape. Now, there are certain shapes, like I say, if you've got compound paths with like ring will not work. So you can't use a ring. It will just reject that. So, now you've got this really quite distorted text at this point, and so you can actually really create some very crunched in text just by doing that. You can see it swerving, and you could continue doing this for indefinitely. But next thing I'll show you, you can actually distort the distort. So you can actually say once you've got that, you can just go here to maybe select the star tool. I'm just going to apply the star tool on top over there and again you could add some more points to that you don't have to have that but I'm just gonna go with default there and select both and now just go to object and envelope distort again and make with top object now what this means is you can actually create some really unusual shapes so instead of just the sort of shape by moving the points around with one now you've actually got this second one which actually means you've got even more opportunity to really push in the text and create some really crunched in effects. And of course, these things, again, you can still modify this. You can release it or not, depending. Now, that's what the thing. next thing to do. You can say object and envelope distort, and you can release. You can also edit the contents as well. Now, I'm not going to do that at this point, but you can edit the actual contents. I'm working with the actual envelope at this moment. So, and again, you can select that and just pull that in. And you can sort of crunch in the text even more. I'm not going to go with that one. But you can sort of create mountain size, valleys, dips in the, the text. And it's still all perfectly editable. Right. Just going to go there. And again, if you want, you can, of course, and I'm just, just finishing at that point. You can go and create maybe a circle this time. I'm just going to quickly create a circle and then... Select that and select that and object and envelope distort. Expand, obviously I don't want to do it at that point. 
will actually make with top object. See, I could expand it, just use it then as a thing, and I'm just going to, I'll do that at the end. Make with top object. And there you've got the design even more. And again, it's still editable at this point, so you can actually still go there and then stretch that out. Stretch that out, and so on and so on. You can really make it. And like I say, <clears throat> once you've actually got to the point of, you think, that's it, I'm not going to do any more, you can save it, of course. You can save it over to maybe a CC library, or you can just go down to Envelope Distort and expand. And there you have it. You've got nice expanded text. Now, of course, oops, it's not actually particularly editable at that point. <laughs> it would be very hard to edit that, I would imagine. But there it is. Some great little quick text, which of course you can manipulate as a normal path, change the colours, etc. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.